Mary Pickford (1892–1979) was a Canadian motion picture actress, producer, and writer. During the silent film era, she became one of the first great celebrities of the cinema and a popular icon known to the public as America's sweetheart. Pickford was born in Toronto and began acting on stage in 1900. She started her film career in the United States in 1909. Initially with the Biograph Film Company, she moved to the independent motion picture company Imp in 1911, then briefly to the Majestic Film Company later that same year, followed by a return to Biograph in 1912. After appearing in over 150 short films during her years with these studios she began working in features with Zucker's Famous Players Film Company, a studio which eventually became part of Paramount Pictures. By 1916 Pickford's popularity had climbed to the point that she was awarded a contract that made her a partner with Zucker and allowed her to produce her own films. In 1919 Pickford teamed with D.W. Griffith, Charlie Chaplin, and Douglas Fairbanks to create United Art artists, an organization designed to distribute their own films. Following the release of Secrets, 1933, Pickford retired from acting in motion pictures. However, she remained active as a producer for several years afterwards. She sold her stock in United Artists in 1956. Pickford won two Academy Awards in her lifetime. The first was in 1929 when she won the award for Best Actress for her performance in Coquette. The second was in 1975 when she was presented with an Honorary Academy Award in recognition of her unique contributions to the film industry and the development of film as an artistic medium. As of 2009 two of Pickford's films have been added to the National Film Registry, Tess of the Storm Country 1914, and The Poor Little Rich Girl 1917. For her work in motion pictures Pickford received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame located at 6280 Hollywood Boulevard. Unless otherwise referenced, the information presented here is derived from the website of the American Film Institute, the filmography prepared by Library of Congress historian Crystal Schmidt, and the books Mary Pickford Rediscovered by Kevin Brownlow, Mary Pickford, From Here to Hollywood by Scott Amon, and Pickford, The Woman Who Made Hollywood by Eileen Whitfield, the best known woman who has ever lived, the woman who was known to more people and loved by more people than any other woman that has been in all history. Adela Rogers Street, Johns, 1981. Short Films, Biograph, 1909. Mary Pickford began working for the American Mutoscope and Biograph Company in April 1909 and remained with the company until the end of 1910. During this period Pickford made 43 films released in 1909 plus a 44th film that was not released. Most of these films are one-reelers while the remaining films are split-reelers, i.e., one of two films released on the same reel. Biograph, 1910. Pickford appeared in 34 Biograph films released in 1910. All of these films are one-reelers. Biograph, 1911. Pickford left the Biograph Company at the end of 1910. The last films that she made for them before her departure were released in early 1911. All of these five films are one-reelers. Selig, 1911. In a 1930 13 interview Pickford claimed to have written two screenplays for the Selig Poliscope Company. Neither film is known to survive. Imp. 1911-1912. In December 1910 Carl Lemley signed Pickford to his independent motion picture company. Imp. All of her Imp titles are one-reelers. The names of Pickford's characters are given if known. Only 13 of Pickford's 39 Imp films are known to survive complete, while fragments of two others exist. Majestic. 1911-1912. After leaving Imp. Pickford signed with Harry H. Aiken's Majestic Film Company. During her brief time with this studio she made five one-reelers. Only one of these films is known to survive. Biograph, 1912-1913. Pickford returned to the Biography Company in January 1912, where she remained until the end of the year, except where noted all 26 films from this period are one-reelers. Features State Rights, 1913-1914 After leaving Biograph at the end of 1912, Pickford returned to stage acting in the Broadway production of David Belasco's play A Good Little Devil. In May 1913 she resumed acting in motion pictures when she signed with Adolf Zucker's Famous Players Film Company. The first five features she made for Zucor were released in the United States on a state rights basis, where regional organizations in each state handled the distribution of each film. Only one of these films is known to survive complete. Paramount, 1914-1916. In 1914 Paramount Pictures began handling the release of Zucker's Famous Players Film Company. Pickford made 17 features prior to beginning with Artcraft. Ten of these films survive complete while six are lost and one survives incomplete. Artcraft, 1916-1918. 
Pickford signed a new contract with Adolf Zukor in June 1916. Among the agreements in the contract was that she would now be producing her own films and they would be distributed through a special division of Paramount Pictures called Artcraft. Pickford made 13 films for Artcraft of which 11 survive complete. War Propaganda, 1917-1918. During World War I Pickford appeared in four short propaganda films. First National, 1918-1920. In November 1918 Pickford ended her contract actual obligations with Adolf Zukor and Paramount. She then signed a three-picture deal with First National to distribute her productions. United Artists, Silent Films, 1920-1927. In 1919 Pickford co-founded United Artists with Charlie Chaplin, D.W., Griffith, and Douglas Fairbanks. Pickford starred in 11 silent films for United Artists release and co-produced three films starring her brother, Jack Pickford, and one with their sister, Lottie Pickford. Mary Pickford also made unbilled cameo appearances in six other films during this time. United Artists, Sound Films, 1929-1950. Pickford starred in four sound films, excluding the uncompleted Forever Years. After Secrets, her final film as an actress, she continued working as a producer, including two films in collaboration with Jesse L. Lasky. In 1945, she and her third husband, Charles Buddy Rogers, co-founded Comet Productions to produce B Pictures for United Artists. Her role as producer in these later films was generally uncredited. Cameos and erroneous credits. Cameo appearances in short films. Pickford made cameo appearances as herself in the following short films. Erroneous credits. Three biograph titles. The Usurer, August 15, 1910. The Affair of an Egg, September 1, 1910. And Examination Day at School, September 2, 1910. 1910, and two imp titles, At the Duke's Command, February 6, 1911, and From the Bottom of the Sea, October 20, 1911, have been erroneously listed in Mary Pickford filmographies. Pickford historian Crystal Schmidt has confirmed that the actress does not appear in these films. The Internet Movie Database lists Pickford as appearing in the Biograph shorts entitled Mrs. Jones Entertains, January 9, 1909, The Fascinating Mrs. Francis, January 21, 1909, and The Deception, March 20, 1909. However, Pickford did not begin with Biograph until the end of April 1909.